So results can be paginated and down here we have a pagination control that we will implement now. And this is a bootstrap pagination component. Usually it's very difficult to create custom pagination controls that don't use WordPress or WooCommerce default layouts. But luckily for us, Pinero makes it very easy. So let's select uh, the element and figure out what to include in the template. So let's do the now element as a whole. And then this, this contains the pagination control. And add product loop pagination action. And here we have the option use this template, this element as the pagination template. And that means that PineGrow will inspect the layout of this component and try to figure out how it works and then implement WordPress pagination features on top of this um, HTML layout. So this means that WordPress, or in this case WooCommerce, will adjust to our layout and not the vice versa. And we have to provide some information, so previous page item, that's like the, the item that contains the previous link. Next page is the list item that contains the next link. Page item is repeated for each page. So let's select this one, the first one. And then active page item is the page item that denotes the active page. So in this case, that's the, the second one. And then dots page item is the list item that contains the, the three dots that are sometimes displayed if we have too many uh, pages, then, then dots will be displayed between them. Okay, and then show current page in. We could have the text that would show the number of the current page and to total pages, but we don't need that because the, our pagination control is quite clear as to what page are we looking at and how many pages are there. Okay, so we are ready. So let's export the page and check out our control. Okay, let's see if it works. Next. Yeah. It works. Let's try if the dots are working. So we will go in WooCommerce and we will change how many products are displayed on a page. So here we have products per row and rows per page, but we don't use the WooCommerce layout. So if we just say one, and here we actually then say how many products we want per page. So that's like this times this is the number of products that are shown on the page. So let's publish it. And we can see that now our pagination control got expanded and we, we actually use the dots if there are too many pages. So let's click around and see how it works. It works quite well, right? So let's go back and, and put a sensible number for the products per page. Let's do maybe eight. Let's go to the shop page. And here we are, we have a nice product list that can be ordered. 
and we have pagination that takes us from one page to another. So what's next? Next we will take care of the sidebar.